Right now is a really exciting time in the life sciences. And it's because we are really, I think, the essential science of the 21st century. Everyone is familiar with the Human Genome Project. And with the completion of the sequencing of human DNA has really created a transformation in the life sciences because it made people aware of the fact that we can sequence. Initially, we were all very excited because we thought, okay, we're going to sequence the genome and we're going to be able to understand the secrets of life. And what we discovered instead was that there aren't enough genes to account for all of the full range of human traits and traits in other organisms that we're seeing today. And so that actually, instead of being the end of the question, the answer to the question, it really became the beginning. Because now what we have to do is we have to understand how are genes interacting with each other, how is the environment influencing how genes are expressed so that we see the traits that we see. And this has really led to an amazing revolution in the life sciences. When you combine that new technology of being able to sequence any kind of genome with the fact that the computational capacity has just really exploded and the ability to mine new data for information through new computational techniques, we have the ability to transform discovery in the life sciences. So at UCLA, life sciences is really able to address several categories of societal problems with major research efforts. So first of all, we have research activities going on that are really affecting human health. We have research activity that is looking at solutions related to mental health. We have scientists working on research to help us understand how plants can grow better so that we can get new biofuels, so that we can produce more food for society. And then finally, we have researchers taking advantage of all this incredible expertise in genes and genomics in computational power to answer those, these questions in the area of conservation that will also address issues within environmental health. And what's exciting at UCLA is that everybody all over campus talks to each other, interacts with each other, and we seem to love to collaborate. And that's the way the discoveries of the 21st century are going to come about. They're going to come about when people of different but related backgrounds within the life sciences are actually interacting with each other. The Terasaki Life Science Building could not come about at a better time for life sciences because we've really changed the way in which we do science. In the past, we've had single scientists working with their group with walls around them, and now what we see is that we're working in much larger research teams and we're interacting with scientists in other areas. I'd say the biggest change in life sciences has been the emergence of the ability to sequence genomes and look at genes in new ways and to analyze the data with the new computational power. I like the Terasaki building because the building has open laboratories, it has scientists from all disciplines interacting with each other, and then on each floor we have areas for the computational scientists. So rather than putting them off in another building where they're interacting with each other and not with us, we have the computational scientists interacting with the empirical scientists, and the empirical scientists being in large labs, that means they don't draw the boundaries of their research within their own research group.